before us at all times. And I would like to talk to you about this courage this morning. My friends, we cannot witness to the gospel unless we have some in us, uh, we have in us courage that we can't explain where it's coming from at times. But we need courage to witness to Jesus. We need to really um, make certain decisions we've been talking about all this week. We need courage. You see, when I look at the history of this world, I just go back to the Roman Empire. How did Christianity start in Rome? Really, Rome was converted to, the, to Christianity by the courage of the martyrs. Because the doctrine, the Christian doctrine, must have sounded wacko to the Romans, as it does sound wacko to many of our people today. I mean, yes, hearing about these bodies rising from the dead, I mean, who could believe that? Especially the Romans who were so meticulous of what they believed. And this question of three persons and one God, who could believe that? I'm sure that a God, you can have many gods. That's what the Romans were familiar with. Every God under the sun they had. But three persons and one God, come on, this is too crazy. And you know, uh, this question of eating the body and blood of the Savior, come on, what are we, cannibals? It must have sounded really wacky. And yet, Rome was converted. The heart of the empire was converted. And how it was converted? Because the Romans saw these thousands or whatever numbers of hundreds of Christians going to their death with a certain courage that they can't explain. And the Romans were soldiers. The Romans really loved martial arts. The Romans trained well to fight well in battle. They trained very well and their only purpose was to win. They had an empire after all. And therefore, they could understand that to fight, you need courage. But when they saw these people, men and women, going to their death, singing, singing, as we read in the Acts of the Martyrs, and when they saw these people going to their death, and in front of everybody, they were asked, we will give you your life if you renounce Jesus, if you make sacrifices to the gods. And in publicly, these people said, our brothers and sisters said, no, I will not, because only Jesus is my Savior and is my God. And when they saw them being mangled by beasts, or tortured, or set up in flames, or crucified, or made, made, made fun of, and dying, you know, dying in such an incredible, horrible ways, that they couldn't understand. And I'm sure that they asked, what have these people got that we haven't got? And my friends, it was the courage of our brothers and sisters in the past, as it is today, that have changed so many people. And the church and the message of Jesus is being proclaimed wherever we are. My friends, it takes guts and courage to keep believing in places like China, where the rest, the patriotic church, a church controlled by the government, because that's the communist way of doing things. Yes, you can have a Catholic church, but we control it, not you, Paul. And it takes guts and courage to believe and belong to the underground church. And it's this, the, the, these incredible examples, these amazing witnesses of our brothers and sisters, that is where we are having so much blessings today in our church. My friends, courage is not a feeling. Courage really is an exercise of the mind. We need to make a decision to be courageous. And courage demands that we know exactly what the situation is. You are not courageous if you just spontaneously, impetuously go and save somebody from a burning house because you felt like it. You just go and bring these people. That, that is good, but that's not courage. Because sometimes when we do things like that on the spare of the moment, we don't realize the consequences. That's a very good deed. That's a very important deed. But courage demands something more. And courage is very, very much, much different. Courage means that I know exactly the dangers and the consequences. 
I know exactly what the dangers are, what the pitfalls are. I know exactly what can happen to me. I know exactly very conscious that I could really end up in strife and be killed, but I still do it. That's courage. Because it's a decision, not just an impulse, that you do it reaction like that. And my friends, well, that is good, but I'm talking about a different courage here today. Because I believe that this is the courage that we need to follow Jesus and to be his ministers and witnesses. My friends, it is right to be afraid. It's normal to be afraid. But the thing with us Christians is that we are not conditioned by that fear. We are afraid because we are human beings after all. We are not made of stone or iron. We are not made of, of uh, we don't sort of, uh, people who don't feel. We do get afraid. And brave people don't, don't, are not sort of um, afraid to admit that, yes, there are times when I am afraid. But they are not conditioned by that fear. <laughs> at all times He is near so we will not be troubled We are filled